What's going on guys? I'm back with an opening of Fist of the Gadgets. Um, I'm a little late on this set, I know. Uh, I got caught up opening the uh, the retro packs for the channel, um, which I thought were a little cooler uh, since Fist of the Gadgets isn't... Uh, it's not the most popular set. It doesn't have the best cards in it. Um, and then the gold, the gold Sark tins came out and uh, yeah, I got caught up in those. Wanted to get those out as quick as possible, but finally with uh, Fist of the Gadgets, I'm a couple weeks late, but here it is. Um, these are actually blister packs. Uh, I just went ahead and, and bought eight of them at the store when I was there a couple days ago. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of getting blister packs unless it's like the special edition boxes uh, because they're a little overpriced, but um, I didn't really... First of all, these side sets don't come in special editions, obviously, and then I didn't really feel like buying a booster box of this set since... Uh, I mean, I don't really care about what's in it, but um, anyways, if I can pull uh, some of the good Fire Fist stuff, I'll be pretty excited because I do love the Fire Fist support. Um, the gadgets and the, the Summon Skull stuff is, yeah, I mean, I, I don't really care for it. Um, and then you have the True Draco reprints, which is kind of cool, and then uh, Secret Rare Ignis Heat, which would be awesome to pull. So, um, yeah, let's, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So... Starting off on the far right here. So these little side sets only come with five. I think the secret is in the front. They come with five cards, uh, four supers, and then one secret in every pack. If you never open these. All right, so Super Tiger King. I got an ulti one, so this one will uh, have to go in the trade binder. Signet Optimization. L phase. Interesting link arrows. I've never seen this guy, what does he do? Um, gains 300 attack for each monster this card points to. If this Link Summon card leaves the field, you can target one level 4 or lower Cybers monster in your graveyard. Special summon it, but for the rest of this turn, its effects, if any, are negated and it cannot be used as Link material. Alright. Archfiend Manifestation and Scrap Recycler. Cool, Scrap Recycler is a couple bucks. And Archfiend's Manifestation. So the Secret Rare is actually the, uh, what's it called? The last one, so I don't have to worry about spoilers but pop and um I actually went to locals just a little tournament report i went to locals when was it it was friday or saturday it was friday um and i did it horrible i took magical musketeers um i tried to model it after that going second build but it was a little different and i was man i was at 43 cards which i usually don't like to do i, I don't like to go over uh 41 or 42 at the most but yeah, it was at 43 because I just couldn't figure out what to take out. And, uh, yeah, it did pretty horribly. Um, one of the guys that I went against was kind of... I could tell that he didn't really play, like, too often because he wasn't really sure how, like, chain chaining works and, and stuff like that. Um, and I got the loss against him. Not saying not as an excuse or anything, but I kind of just gave up. Uh, trying to explain everything to him because it seemed like every two seconds we were calling a judge over and finally I was like, you know what? <laughs> you know, it's fine. Uh, I was already doing horrible anyways. I went X2 um, And I dropped after the third round because there's no The tournament is so small. That there's not really anyone that's gonna make it that's X2. You have to be X1 or XO. So anyways uh, Let's get back to it. Majesty Maiden. I already have an ultra so I don't really mind about that. Latency Dynamite Knight, Amorphage Lechery, he's like a, he's like turning into a scorpion. Morphages look pretty cool. Um, and they all have the effect that if this card is Pendulum Summoned, neither player can special summon monsters from the extra deck except for Amorphage monsters. Um, just a really good floodgate for uh, decks that can run it. Just basically works as a what's it called, like an artifact scythe, except while it's on the field, and no one is running a Morphage, just, you know, extra deck monsters, so it locks out the extra deck, and, ooh, nice, Brotherhood of the Firefist Eagle, I think this is the, uh, the really expensive one, right, Eagle, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is, cool, let's leave that bad boy up, ah, I really wish they, uh, would have reprinted Dragon in here, I'd be all over it, but I'm not trying to pay 40 bucks for... A uh, really old super. Too bad we didn't pull one in our Cosmo Blazer opening, right? Alright. 
So, we have Prohibit Snake, Latency again, Synac Conflict, Code Talker, no decode, Xcode, transcode, just code. And for our secret, we have... Ooh, nice. Swan. Is this the... Oh, the fusion. Okay. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and sleeve this guy up, too. Yeah, fire fists are just so cool. Um, I, I mean, I don't know <laughs> what more to say about them. They're just really cool. Artwork is awesome. Their support is, is pretty good, too. I think a lot more people would be playing it if the barrier for entry wasn't so high because you have to have that because dragon is like one of the most important cards for the combo and they didn't reprint him i'm not really sure why they didn't nice super rare final battle that'll go in the sub terror deck chronograph sorcerer this really needed a reprint this was getting pretty high because it just came out in uh, pendulum evolution yeah ultra rare was getting pretty pretty up there nice fire fist bear and for our secret archfiend's awakening these Archfiend cards, um, the art is really cool. It just seems like they don't have a focus. It's like there's a fusion and there's a synchro and there's a ritual. Yeah, I don't know. I, I really wish they were a lot better because they look so cool. And Summon Skull is, like, is you know, really iconic. Um, way better than Dark Magician. Uh, anyone. <laughs> Alright, Defcon Bird. Ooh, nice. Another final battle. Another bear. A Morphage Sloth. This was getting up there too. This is the most commonly ran one, I think, just because it's a. Uh, most of the Pendulum Magician scales are scale 7, so you can't Pendulum Summon anything over 6, so this is the one that they usually go to. And our secret rare. What is it? Fire Fist. Boot Up Admiral Destroyer Dynamo. So this is the gadget boss monster, I think, so. What does this guy do? Let's see. Cannot be normal summoned or set. Must be special summoned from your hand by sending two gadget monster cards from your hand and or face up field to the graveyard. Cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects while you control a gadget monster or a gadget monster card equipped to a monster. Once per turn, you can target one other card in the field and destroy it. And it's not bad, but it's not what gadgets really needed. <laughs> I feel like I feel like uh, a gadget extra deck monster would have been a lot better for the deck just as an option to go into you know, whenever they wanted to. Another Morphage Lechery. Brotherhood of the Firefist Cardinal. And <laughs> third final battle, nice. Boot up Corporal Command Dynamo and Boot up Order Gear Force. What does this do? I, I I have no idea what these gadget cards do. So when either player monster when either player's monster, excuse me, declares an attack and all monsters you control are face-up machine monsters, minimum one, destroy attack position monster your opponent controls up to the number of machine monsters you control. Okay, interesting. Alright, last two packs. Come on. Let's get another let's get another eagle. That would be pretty freaking dope. Alright. Subterra Fiend is nice. I already have all the subterra cards, so these are just kinda extra. Shooting code talker. Code talker. Morphage Goliath is another one that's, uh, this one is ran in, or it used to be ran in the Thunder Dragon deck, because you could special summon it off of, what's his name, uh, Rotar? I don't remember, but anyways, for our secret rare, it's a fusion, is it Swan? Archfiend's Manifestation again, dang it. What do these guys actually do? See, they, they look so cool, but, focus camera, focus. No, you don't want to focus? Let's see. I'm like this. Alright. Summon Skull plus one Dark Monster. This card's name becomes Summon Skull on the field, but it is still treated as an Arch Fiend card. All Summon Skull you control gain 500 attack. If this Fusion Summon card you control is sent to your graveyard by an opponent's card, you can, spe Ugh. You can special summon one Summon Skull from your hand deck or graveyard. Man, that stipulation that it has to be the opponent's card sucks. But, last pack, guys. I know this is kind of a short little video, but these packs don't really have much in them. Um, so, but as for the feature of the channel, I think um, it might just be once a week uploads for a little bit, but I want to try to get some uh, 
maybe maybe like a capture card or um, something um, and start uploading like I don't know gameplay of, of some games maybe do like I don't know just a, a playthrough I don't I would love to stream but I don't know if I have like the capacity to sit there and talk you know while I'm streaming and the setup that I have isn't really that nice so I think it would be better for me to do like more of like a playthrough but uh, we'll see. No, it doesn't necessarily have to be Yu-Gi-Oh related, but maybe I'll do some play or some uh, gameplay of like YGO Pro replays or something. I don't know. Sky's the limit. So, Defcon Bird, Brotherhood of the Firefist Spirit. Oh, I don't even. I haven't even seen this one. What does this one do? Cannot be used as synchro material except for the synchro summon of a beast warrior monster. When this card is normal summoned, you can target one level 3 fire monster with 200 or less defense in your graveyard. Special summon that target in defense position, and if you do, monsters you control. Oh, out of focus. Cannot t attack for the rest of this turn except beast warrior monsters. Okay. Yellow gadget. Gold gadget. And for our final secret error. Oh, what is it? Panda. Ignis Heat. Alright, I'll take it. I wish they would have given the, uh, the other True Dracos the secret rare treatment as well. Because um, they already came Ultra. Why Ignis Heat? Why give Ignis, Ignis Heat the secret rare spot? Dynamite Knight definitely deserves that spot. <laughs> Dynamite Knight's my dude. But Anyways, here's the uh, decent stuff we pulled right here. I'm happy with this one. I think this one worth some money so um let's, let's, let's zoom in here check that out <laughs> all right guys uh yeah um feature of the channel still trying to really figure out what i want to do um but anyways i really appreciate you guys watching uh be sure to like comment subscribe um check me out on social media at kadith six for instagram or sorry kadith six for twitter and instagram is kadith underscore tcg um i just <laughs> on twitter usually i'll tweet out random thoughts about the game uh being Yu-Gi-Oh or anything else really and then on instagram i'll post some uh sneak peeks of the next video i'm going to be uploading what packs i'm going to be opening and just you know i'll ask questions and stuff like that just post pictures of cards and stuff oh and one more thing i wanted to show you guys before I forget um, this is not like a paid promotion at all but I just wanted to show you guys how awesome these th these uh, life pad tablets are from ultimate guard um, I saw it in who had it I saw someone at my shop that had it and I was like whoa that thing is so cool um, and he told me where to get it and it's just this blank pad and it just takes one like like a watch battery um, looks kind of like a like an old iPhone, but you just write on it. You don't have to turn it on or anything. So, excuse my horrible handwriting, but you just write on it, right? A little face there, <laughs> and then when you're done, you just click this middle button, and it disappears. It just erases it automatically. You don't have to turn it on or anything, and it's pretty awesome. It's a, the screen is a little small if you're trying to keep track of life points. Like if you're, let's see, you have your opponent, yourself, and then your opponent. So, y I mean, you do run out of room kind of fast, but I really like it. Um, I've been wanting one of these. I was originally just using my uh, my cell phone and then doing like 8,000.8 .8 and then whatever. Uh, value was taken off my opponent's life points I would do like 0.72 for 7200 or something but uh, this is a lot better in my opinion it's always better to just have the notes um, I think the uh, like at official tournaments if you go to a regional or a YCS you're not allowed to have your phone out because you could be cheating um, so having the notepad is a lot better in this uh, it's a little more environmentally friendly right don't have to waste so much paper um but yeah thanks for tuning in guys i'll see you in the next one goodbye